good morning my dears so how are you all i hope all are doing good so i am also very very good so already we came to college and uh, we have started uh, online classes from june 1st onwards so yesterday we have discussed about the atom the history of atom who discovered the atom the john dalton okay the scientist john dalton discovered the atom the next uh, plum pudding model so j j thompson explained about plum pudding model okay there is an atom and inside of the atom there is a structure and uh, the atom is combination of positive and negative charges and it is comparable with the watermelon okay so that is what plum pudding model and also j j thompson fails to explain the final extent of the atom so that is why rutherford uh, rutherford came into the picture and rutherford taken uh, alpha ray scattering experiment by uh, using a thin gold foil okay thin sheet of gold he has uh, taken a thin sheet of gold foil and he has projected alpha particles on a gold foil what is happening he has observed so we have uh, discussed everything about the rutherford alpha ray scattering experiment and scattering formula as of now so now why rutherford experiment is also failed that is what we are going to discuss now see so rutherford also rutherford in cheptadu anante starting lo so whenever the alpha particles reaches the gold atom most of the alpha particles are deflected most of the alpha particles deflected in which some of the alpha particles are deflected with larger angles and some of the alpha particles are deflected with smaller angles okay and here what he has told that the whenever the alpha particle reaching the nucleus whenever the alpha particle reaching the nucleus it is deflected some of the alpha particles deflected reverse back some of the alpha particles are deflected in a different different angles so why alpha particles are uh, reverse back because the nucleus is having a positive charge because of that positive charge the alpha particles are reverse back so here rutherford fails to explain this atomic model because here rutherford does not explain about the stability of the atom how the atoms are stable inside of the nucleus that is what does not explained by the rutherford and also how we positive charge in an atom holds a negative charge means here ante akkad unna atom lo unna nucleus anedi oka negative charge ni ela hold cheskoni untundi that is what not explained by the rutherford so here according to maxwell already i told you the basic point according to maxwell the accelerated charge radiates always energy ante oka accelerate avutunna oka charge ni ganaka meer teesukunnatlayite the accelerated charge always radiates energy for example uh, if a person takes a food okay then he has to work he has to work then after some time what will happen after 3 to 4 hours the energy will be consumes by the person so in this case same case the accelerated energy the accelerated charge always radiates energy continuously in this case the energy of the electron decreases so already i told you the electrons are revolving around the nucleus so electrons nucleus to 10th shape dirugutayi the electrons are revolving around the nucleus as long as its energy decreases so energy decrease ayye anta varaku kuda electrons nucleus chuttu tirugutune untayi electrons are revolving around the nucleus as long as its energy decreases then if the energy is de- the electrons energy decreases what will happen electrons are simply fall into that nucleus okay simply the uh, energy of the electrons decreases and finally falls into the nucleus this is not explained how the stability of the electron how the stability of atom is there and at the same time why electrons how electrons are falls into the nucleus that is what not explained by the rutherford that is what first point next uh, ruth uh, in this rutherford atomic model he couldn't explain about the exact position of the positive atom so here see he couldn't explain about the exact position of the nucleus ante nucleus lo positive charge anedi ekkada untundi where is the exact position of the positive charge inside of the nucleus that is what not explained by the rutherford atomic model and next final point is orbital revolution so here orbital revolution of the electron is not stable that is that is what after some period of time what will happen to the electrons where when they are falling into the nucleus or the continuous revolution of the electrons what will happen to the electrons that is what also not explained by the rutherford so that is why the bohr's atomic model came into the picture after rutherford niels bohr came into the picture niels bohr explained the atomic model with some assumptions so let us see
నెక్స్ట్ బోర్స్ అటామిక్ మోడల్ అవర్ థర్డ్ అటామిక్ మోడల్ వాజ్ బోర్ అంటే ఇప్పటి వరకు ఇంకా కరెక్ట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ అటామిక్ మోడల్ అటామిక్ మోడల్ వాజ్ నాట్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ బై ద సైంటిస్ట్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఎవరు వస్తారు జేజే థామ్సన్ జేజే థామ్సన్ ప్లమ్ పొడ్డింగ్ మోడల్ దెన్ నెక్స్ట్ ఎవరు వస్తారు రూతర్ ఫోర్డ్ ఆల్ఫారేజ్ క్యాటరింగ్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ ఈవెన్ దో రూతర్ ఫోర్డ్ ఆల్ఫారేజ్ స్కాటరింగ్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ వాజ్ ఫెయిల్స్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద ఆటమిక్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ సో హియర్ నెక్స్ట్ బోర్ నీల్స్ బోర్ కేమ్ ఇట్ ద పిక్చర్ సో నీల్స్ బోర్ ఏం చెప్తాడు అని అంటే సీ హియర్ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఆర్ రివాల్వింగ్ అరౌండ్ ద న్యూక్లియస్ ఇన్ అన్ సర్క్యులర్ ఆర్బిట్స్ అంటే ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఎవ్రీ టైమ్ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ అనేవి న్యూక్లియస్ చుట్టూ సర్క్యులర్ ఆర్బిట్స్లో తిరుగుతాయని చెప్తాడు హౌ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఆర్ రివాల్వింగ్ అరౌండ్ ద న్యూక్లియస్ ఇన్ సర్క్యులర్ ఆర్బిట్స్ అంటే ఎలా తిరుగుతాయి దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ హియర్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ సీ హియర్ ద న్యూక్లి హియర్ ద ఆటమ్ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ న్యూక్లియస్ ద న్యూక్లియస్ ఇస్ పాజిటివ్లీ చార్జ్డ్ ఆల్రెడీ we are seeing here here it is a positive charge of the nucleus right yeah here it is a positive charge now the electrons are according to bohr's the electrons are revolving around the circular orbit so how because by balancing the coulombian force so coulombian force balances the centrifugal force so eppudaithe inside of the inside of the atom there is a nucleus the coulombian force the electrostatic force of the atom is balances with the centrifugal force the centrifugal force is what nana mv square by r so here m m means mass of the atom v means velocity of the atom r means radius radius of this atom okay so always because why the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in circular orbits because of the balance of the coulombian force with the centrifugal force so here the centrifugal force always balances with the coulombian force here coulombian force also can act as a electrostatic force electrostatic attraction force between the electron and the nucleus here okay so there is a strong attraction between the positive charge and negative charge as already i told you in case of electromagnetic theory always there is an attraction between two opposite charges okay when when the attraction is existing between the two charges because the two charges whenever they are opposite to each other then the attraction force is acting between them so here the positively charged nucleus is attracted to the negatively charged electron how it is possible because of the coulombian force balance with the centrifugal force and this force is always towards the center of the nucleus so according to bohr's whenever this force is acting this force is always towards the center of the nucleus see here this force is always acting towards the center of the nucleus and here the what is the electrostatic force or what is coulombic force coulombic attraction force is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into q1 q2 by r square in general our formula here q1 is what nana positively charged nucleus q1 means e and q2 means another e okay there is an attraction between positive e and negative e that is why 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 means e in to e divided by r square distance between the atom distance between the positive charge and negative charge is r okay this is a r and see here this is a formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into q1 q2 by r square this is the distance r here orbital angular momentum must be quantized why because see here ఆల్రెడీ ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఆర్ రివాల్వింగ్ అరౌండ్ ద న్యూక్లియస్ ఇన్ అ సర్క్యులర్ ఆర్బిట్ అంటే ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ అనేవి ఎంతసేపు సర్క్యులర్ ఆర్బిట్లో తిరుగుతూ ఉంటాయి అంటే ఆల్రెడీ రూతర్ ఫోర్డ్ ఫెయిల్స్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్స్ ద స్టెబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ ది ఆటమ్ అంటే ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఎలా ఎంతసేపు తిరుగుతాయి అనేది రూతర్ ఫోర్డ్ ఫెయిల్స్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ బట్ బోర్స్ గివెన్ ద అజంప్షన్ దట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ always the orbital angular momentum must be quantized ante there is no loss of energy of the electron at any case ante ekkada ye time lo kuda electrons anevi vaat energy ni loss avvavu because of that because of that only the electrons are revolving around the nucleus always so enduku ala jarugutundi anante because of the quantization of orbital angular momentum so orbital angular momentum ki manaki bose oka formula isthadu that formula is mvr is equals to nh by 2 pi mvr is equals to nh by 2 pi so whenever the electron satisfies this condition then the electron always continuously revolving around the nucleus without falling inside of the nucleus and electron in the same way to the nucleus to two and the other it does not bad it doesn't uh, falls inside of the nucleus and a put a good electron and a the nucleus low party for kunda in the good to me and a because of the quantization of orbital angular momentum that orbital angular moment that orbital angular momentum is equal that is mv 
Vr. M means mass of the electron, mass of the uh, mass of the electron. V means velocity of the electron, and R means radius of the orbit. So M Vr is equals to n h by 25. So here h by 25 means what? Na h is a Planck's constant and n is what principal orbit uh, orbital number so here principal orbital number means the electrons are moving from one energy level to the another another energy level always the electrons are jumping from one energy level to the another energy level so this is what n means principal orbital number so that will clarify in the next next slides so here h is a planck's constant and bohr's bohr's assumption entante here konni konni assumptions cheskuntadu andulo first assumption is what electron revolves around the nucleus in a circular orbit asal circular orbit lo ela dirugutundi anadaniki there is a condition what is that condition the electrostatic attraction force is balances with the centrifugal force electrostatic attraction force means what that is also called as coulombian force that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into e square by r square this force is equals to centrifugal force mv square by r eppudaithe ee rendu balance avutunnayo that is of because of the balance between the coulombian force and centrifugal force the electron is revolving around the nucleus ah okay so electron is revolving mari electron anedi nucleus lo padipovadaniki chance ledha yes there is no chance to uh, electron falls inside of the nucleus because of the quantization of orbital angular momentum dani kuda condition isthadu what is that condition the orbital angular momentum must be quantized and the quantization of angular momentum is mvr is equals to nh by 25 and next uh, coming to the next point here you are observing the different different orbits so n is equals to 1 is a one orbit okay n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 n is equals to 1 n is equals to 2 n is equals to 3 4 5 6 7 so these are the different different orbits right yes so here another point is given by the bohr is radiation takes place when electron jumps from one permitted level to the another permitted level just now i told you electrons for example a, the electron which electron is having higher energy and a electron kaithe ekku energy untundo then that energy can get that higher level energy of electron can jumps from one energy level to the another energy level to stabilize themselves ante ekkadaithe oka electron ki ekku energy untundo aa ekku energy unna electron anedi oka energy level nunchi inko energy level ki jump avutundi enduku jump avutundi to stabilize themselves ante aa electron thanaki thanu stabilize avvadaniki oka energy level nunchi inko energy level ki jump avutundi so ila jump ayyetappudu what what is happening ante higher energy unna electron anedi lo లోయర్ ఎనర్జీ ఉన్న ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ లోయర్ ఎనర్జీ సెల్స్కి కానీ హైయర్ ఎనర్జీ సెల్స్ ఓకే ద ఆర్బిట్ ఆర్బిటాల్ ఎనర్జీ లెవెల్స్ జంప్ అయినప్పుడు వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ ఇట్ లాస్ ఇస్ సమ్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ ద లాస్డ్ ఎనర్జీ అంటే ఇక్కడ ఎక్కడైతే లాస్ అవుతుందో ఆ ఎనర్జీని ఏం చేస్తుంది ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ రేడియేషన్ సో రేడియేషన్ ఫామ్లో అది బయటకు వదిలేస్తుంది ఓకే వెన్ ఎవర్ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ అక్వైర్స్ హయ్యర్ ఎనర్జీ టు స్టెబిలైజ్ దెమ్ సెల్ఫ్ అంటే ఎప్పుడైతే ఎనర్జీ హయ్యర్ లెవెల్ ఎనర్ హయ్యర్ లెవెల్ ఎనర్జీ ఉన్న ఎలక్ట్రాన్ అనేది ఎప్పుడైతే ఒక స్టేట్ నుంచి ఒక ఎనర్జీ స్టేట్ నుంచి ఇంకో ఎనర్జీ స్టేట్కి జంప్ అవుతుందో అక్కడ ఎంతసేపు ఉంటుంది అప్ టు ద ఎగ్జైటెడ్ స్టేట్ లైఫ్ టైమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద లైఫ్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జైటెడ్ స్టేట్ దట్ ఈస్ టెన్ టు ది పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఎయిట్ సెకండ్స్ ఆల్రెడీ ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ ఇన్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ లేజర్స్ ఓకే ద లైఫ్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జైటెడ్ స్టేట్ ఇస్ టెన్ టు ది పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఎయిట్ సెకండ్స్ అంటే హయ్యర్ ఎనర్జీ లెవెల్ ఉన్న ఎలక్ట్రాన్ అనేది ఎప్పుడైతే జంప్ అవుతుందో సో జంప్ అయినప్పుడు అక్కడ ఎంతసేపు ఉంటుంది ఇట్ గోస్ టు ఎగ్జైటెడ్ స్టేట్ అంటే గ్రౌండ్ స్టేట్ నుంచి ఎగ్జైటెడ్ స్టేట్కి ఎప్పుడు వెళ్తుంది వెళ్ళిన తర్వాత అక్కడ ఎంతసేపు ఉంటుంది టెన్ టు ది పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఎయిట్ సెకండ్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ టెన్ టు ది పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఎయిట్ సెకండ్స్ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్ కమ్స్ టు ఇట్స్ ఒరిజినల్ పొజిషన్ అంటే ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ అనేది టెన్ టు ది పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఎయిట్ సెకండ్స్ తర్వాత అదొక ఒరిజినల్ పొజిషన్కి వస్తుంది అది ఎంతైతే అంతకుముందు ఎక్కడైతే గ్రౌండ్ స్టేట్లో ఉందో ఆ ఒరిజినల్ పొజిషన్కి వచ్చిన తర్వాత ఎలా వస్తుంది ఊరికైనా వస్తుందా నో ఇట్ రిలీజెస్ సమ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ రేడియేషన్ సో that radiation is in the form of light okay that is what here the bohrs is telling according to bohrs the radiation takes place when electrons jumps from one permitted energy level to the another permitted energy level so that there is a equation that is e2 minus e1 is equals to h nu okay the difference between the two energies is equals to the planck's constant multiplication of planck's constant with the frequency okay this is what about the bohrs model assumptions
okay so e assumptions these are the assumptions made by the bohr so see here in this case n is equals to 1 these are the different different energy orbits of the electron so these are the orbits these can also called as k shell l shell m shell n shell okay k l m n so the n is equals to 1 means principal orbit number is 1 n is equals to 2 means principal or principal orbit number is 2 n is equals to 3 means principal orbit number is 3 so like this there are different shells k l m n different shells and for every shell there is a series okay first series is lyman next series is bomber lyman bomber passion bracket fund series so these are the different different series made by the bohr so okay this uh, this about this series we will detailed we will explain in detail i will explain in detail about the next videos this is what about the bohr assumptions okay bohr made some assumptions so these are the assumptions thank you